Well, Republicans and Democrats still have a lot of hurdles to clear in the debate over an infrastructure bill. Something that's been back and forth in weeks. You know, they remain hundreds of millions of dollars apart on just how much to spend, and they can't agree how to pay for it or even what will be considered infrastructure. But neither side is thrown in the towel quite yet with any negotiations still going on. Yeah, Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. June should be a month of action on Capitol Hill. President Biden is hoping to break congressional gridlock on his infrastructure plan. This afternoon, he's meeting with West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito, looking for a compromise with Republicans on his $1.7 trillion proposal. The latest GOP offer includes nearly $1 trillion to fix roads, bridges, and rail lines. Senator Capito laid out the counterproposal last Thursday. Sticking to the core physical infrastructure. Uh, I think that's what the American people think of when they think of, in, uh, of infrastructure, and that's certainly what we do, too. But the White House has expressed concern the Republican plan does not include money for additional priorities, include fixing VA hospitals, removing lead pipes, and funding clean energy jobs. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has indicated there needs to be some kind of clarity on the direction of the bill by next Monday when Congress returns from its recess. In a letter to Senate Democrats, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said they would take up the bill this summer with or without Republican support. Biden only has a majority of effectively four votes in the House and a tie in the Senate with two members of the Senate who vote more with my Republican friends. The White House has yet to lock in support from Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, two Democrats who have expressed concerns about how to pay for the plan. Natalie Brent, CBS News, the White House.